Google AdSense walkthrough. Hey there, everyone. We showed you how to create and activate your own AdSense account in our previous video. And the good news is that relevant ads will start to appear on your site right after Google activates your AdSense account. Which doesn't mean that you should just set it and forget about it. On the contrary, you should take the time to know your AdSense account, as there are tons of features and settings that you can manage to optimize your AdSense efforts. That is why in this video, we are going to give you a walkthrough of an active AdSense account, which will help you to get familiar with what you'll find inside your own account once it is active. So let's get started on the home page. Here you will find a summary of your account's performance. So let's take a closer look at the metrics featured on this page. On top of this page, you will find the estimated earnings column and the balance column. In the estimated earnings column, you will find your current and estimated earnings according to your daily performance. Here, you will find today's estimated earnings, yesterday's estimated earnings, your earnings from the previous seven days, and your earnings so far in the running month. You will be able to find how much more or how much less you have made relative to your previous dates under each estimate. For example, you can check how much your earnings were yesterday relative to the same day in the past week. We strongly recommend you to check these comparisons because they can be used as measuring points that can help you to optimize your efforts. Now over in the balance column, you will find your current balance or the amount of money that you've earned so far. In the Add Units column, you will be able to check the number of clicks and impressions that each of the ad units on your sites has received, as well as the estimated earnings per ad over a specific period of time. In the Performance column, you will find specific page performance metrics that include page views, page revenue per mile, impressions, clicks, cost per click, and page click-through rate. In the Countries column, you will be able to check which countries your page visitors are from, as well as the estimated earnings per country, the number of page views per country, and the number of clicks per country. On the Sites column, you will be able to check how sites serving your ads are performing on an individual basis. Here you will be able to see the estimated earnings, number of page views, and number of clicks generated per site. Now to access other sections in your AdSense account, you will simply have to click on the collapsible menu located in the top left corner. Let's start from top to bottom by clicking on the My Ads tab. Here you will find three subsections, Content, Ad Styles, and other products. Let's start on the content subsection, which is actually a drop down menu that will lead you to your in page ad settings. In the auto ad section, you will be able to add an automated ad code to pages on your site as well as to create different settings for specific pages. In the ad unit section, you will be able to create ad units with specific customizations that you can place on different parts of your site. In the ad balance section, you will be able to adjust the ad fill rate on your site according to the estimated earnings generated by your best performing ads. In the custom channel section, you will be able to set up custom channels that will allow you to track ad performance. You will simply have to click on the new custom channel button to name your custom channel, then to add the ad units that you want to track, and then to click on save. In the URL channel section, you will be able to set up custom URL channels that will allow you to track ad performance per unique URL. You'll simply have to click on the New URL Channel button and then to enter the URLs that you want to track, one per line. Lastly, you'll have to click on the Add URL Channels. Let's move on now to the Ad Style subsection. Here you will be able to customize the appearance of your ads. You'll be able to either select a predefined ad style from the Sample Ad Style section or to create a new ad style by clicking on the New Ad Style button. Finally, in the Other Products subsection, you will be able to apply for additional AdSense products, including AdSense for Games, AdSense for Search, and AdSense for Video. Alright, so let's now click on the next tab on the left-hand menu, the Allow and Block Ads tab. Here you'll find two subsections, the Ad Review Center subsection and the All My Sites subsection. Let's click on the Ad Review Center subtab first. Here you will find all the ads that are being served on your sites, 
and they are divided into three categories, unreviewed, reviewed, and blocked. On the unreviewed ad section, you can review them one by one. You can use the select this ad button to approve an ad to appear on your site, or you can use the block this ad button to block an ad from appearing on your site. Ads that you have approved will then be moved to the reviewed section, and ads that you have blocked will be moved to the blocked section. Let's now click on the All My Sites sub-tab. Here you will be able to add ad unit URLs leading to sites that you would prefer not to redirect to from your site. You will simply have to enter the display URL and the ads that you want to block in the HTTP field and then to click on Block URLs. You will also be able to more broadly allow or block ads and URLs by using the options available in the General Categories, Sensitive Categories, Ad Networks, Ad Serving, Ad Review Center, and EU User Content tabs. Let's now click on the Performance Reports tab. In this tab, you will find four subsection tabs, My Reports, Common Reports, Advanced Reports, and Events. Let's start on the My Reports sub-tab, where you will find a report summary divided into three sections. One is the default report, where you can find a report overview as well as detailed reports on clicks, views, active views, engagements, and ad sessions. You will be able to manage your saved reports in the Manage Reports section. Let's now click on the Common Reports sub-tab. In this section, you will be able to access an entire account by day report, a sites report, a content platform report, a country's report, an ad units report, a platforms report, and a products report. Next up is the advanced report sub-tab. In this section, you will be able to access granular level reports that include an entire account by week report, an entire account by month report, a custom channels report, a URL channels report, a verified sites report, a served ad types report, an ad formats report, an ad behaviors report, an ad sizes report, a creative sizes report, a targeting types report, a bid types report, an ad networks report, an experiments report, and an ad sessions report. Finally, by clicking on the event sub tab, you will be able to access event reports. Okay, let's now click on the optimization tab. Here you will be able to access three sections. Opportunities, Experiments, and Lab. Let's start on the Opportunity section. In this section, you will be able to access optimization resources that adapt to your setups. In the experiment section, you will be able to conduct live traffic experiments on your sites to analyze ad performance or ad category settings. You'll have the option to activate the Let Google Run Automatic Experiments on some of your Traffic to Find New Opportunities option and also to run your own ad unit settings, allow or block, and ad balance experiments. Lastly, in the lab section, you will be able to test new AdSense features before they become available. All right, let's now click on the Payments tab. In this section, you will be able to check your earnings to view your transactions, to manage how you get paid, and your payment methods, and to manage other payment settings. Let's now click on the Settings tab. The first submenu tab available from this tab from top to bottom is Account, from where you'll be able to access your personal settings and your account information. Let's start on the Personal Settings section. Here you will be able to edit your login email and your password, your contact details, your email preferences, and your display language. On the Account Information section, you will simply find your basic AdSense account info, including your publisher ID, your customer ID, your time zone, your active AdSense products, and your account status. Let's now click on the Policy Center sub-tab. In this section, you will be able to check whether you have active policy violations that you might need to work on fixing. Let's now click on My Sites. In this section, you will be able to manage your verified sites. You can click on the plus button, enter your site's URL in the New Site URL field, and then click on Add Site in order to verify the site is yours. This will help you to limit the use of your AdSense codes only on sites owned by you, if you use the Site Authorization option available once you start verifying your sites.
let's now click on the Access and Authorization sub-tab. The first section that you'll be able to access from the sub-menu from top to bottom is the User Management section. Here, you will be able to authorize other users to manage your AdSense account by adding their email addresses in the Enter Email Address field and then clicking on Invite. Next up is the Crawler Access section, from where you will be able to manage crawler logins to help Google index your site. On the Third Party Access section, you will be able to manage third-party access to your AdSense activities. In the Google Analytics Integration section, you will be able to manage AdSense integration with your Analytics account. Lastly, on the AdMob account section, you will be able to connect your preferred AdSense account to the AdMob mobile monetization service. Let's now click on the Status tab. You will be able to access two sections from this tab, the Crawler Errors section and the Messages section. In the Crawler Errors section, you will be able to check whether you have crawler errors, such as when crawlers are unable to access content on your URLs, as well as recommendations to fix said errors. Now over the Messages section, you will be able to check messages from the AdSense team. The last tab on the left-hand menu is the Send Feedback tab. By clicking on the Send Feedback tab, you will be able to send Google a direct message to describe an issue with AdSense or to give them feedback about the platform and related products. And that is it! As you can see, AdSense is a very complete platform that will grant you ample control over your account. And we recommend you to check everything that we just showed you by yourself once you have an active, fully working AdSense account. So, are you ready for more? We certainly hope so, because we are about to show you how to customize your first AdSense ad units in our next video. Tune in.